Welcome. What we're going to do today is we're going to make a very inexpensive uh, bread punch with a Strapsol's uh, tube. As you can see, it's got a lid that's open. It's also got a bottom which is got a thing in. It's uh, solid. So let's move all this out of the way. And I'll show you what they're going to be doing in a bit. Get yourself a simple saw. Uh, and a thing, we're going to make this pretty simple. I'm hoping it cuts it quite cleanly. You, you should do this in, in the shed when you've got more purchase. Let me try something else because that's not working. Alright, it's going now. coming now. Once you've got through this thing you'll see the benefits of something for it. It doesn't help having it on a on a slidey surface so get yourself a, a non-slip thing. You could probably do a Stanley knife but get an adult to do that for you if you aren't already but ah we're getting it now. Get out of it. It's going to be very crude, but it works. I know it works. I'll show you in a minute how to set, set it up and use this tool, homemade stuff. Uh, we just have to keep drawing it back. There, we're through. Look at that. <laughs> there's the lid. Well, the bottom. And there's the lid. I'll just shake that in the bin. Give it a little one, two. There you are. That's got now a nice little hole in it, all the way down the tube. That's that done. Let me tidy away all this stuff so we can get to it. Okay, let me move this out of the way. We don't need this lethal thing again. Let's pop him away. Let's bring up the bread. Okay. And here's one slice of white. We'll pop him on this on this thing here. And you say to yourself, okay, what are you going to use it for? Well, you could if you wanted to. This is what we're going to do. We're going to push the bread into this and make discs. And then after, we're going to use the pencil or a float and push this through. That's that easy. And what, you, what I was thinking of doing was putting super glue on on the cap and then putting the pencil into there but for now we're just gonna I'm just gonna show you how it works keep it simple use a use a pencil use a float and then what you do is you punch the bread there's one disc there's two discs now it didn't need it okay there's three discs it did need it so we pu push him out. There we are. I think I'll go for three discs. That'll be about right for me. So, how do we get these discs onto a hook? We're going to use a Drennan Cork Match 16s on an air like push dot. So, you're going to get one of these out. Hopefully, I can get it out and do it on twist it in one go. Okay. Come on. Like that, yeah. Let's get him out. So that's that done. So you now you know what you've got. You've got your oak link. You're not going to do this here, are you? You're going to do this at, at the bank side. So you punch them through. You've got your three discs, and now you've got to put it on that air rig. That's simple. We've got a needle here. Okay. Nice needle. We're gonna push. We're gonna push this into the needle. That. Try and look at it. Lovely. You're gonna get your disc. You're gonna push that on. No, you're not. Didn't work. Right. Bloody needle. Bear with. Bear with. It 
did go through, it's just uh, didn't stay on. So I'll hold it a bit more. That goes on, that goes on, lovely. And let's go for the third one on. Let's pull the needle out. Let's pull that needle through. And what we have now is a big lot of bread. Can you see that? Hey, look at how sweet that looks. Hey, that's on the uke. Now you might say to yourself, what happens in the water when it hits the water? I mean, being a 16 Drenham hook with a thing, I should have gone to, you could have got away with two. But let's, let me get some water for you. Hopefully you can get that on camera. Yes. Let me zoom in for you. Oh, that's away. Let me angle that camera a little bit up. Come on. Okay, not doing it. Oh, it's in. I didn't expect that. But let's leave that a couple of seconds to soak up that water. As you can see, it, 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 this bread's floating. But once it's in and it's got a good thing, uh, it will drop. So you might need to play around with weights and stuff to get it to oop to the bottom. And you can almost say pop up. What? Respectable carp would say no to that big juicy thing, and that's making it inexpensive. That might need cutting, yeah, and then shaving round to make it a clean thing. I think it was because it's got ridges on it, yeah, ridge. There's a ridge on it, but that there into the bread, happy days, yeah. Use your pencil out. It's that simple. And then you end up with something that looks like that. Yeah. You end up with something that looks like that. How big and juicy does that look? And your hook, if you, I know you can't get it on the camera there, but hopefully if I bring it forward, the hook is absolutely perfect in the top of the hook, top of the bread. See it? You can just make it out about there. There it is there and the point of that hook is just poking through and that's off three three discs done that's going nowhere when that gets casted in dry like brand new discs off this thing and that gets chucked out and you put a tiny weight say on the end somewhere like here to lay it down yeah so then this pops off the bottom boom got you so that's how you make an ex inexpensive uh, bread punch at home cheap so thanks for watching and if you've got any comments to perhaps improve this or of any of any other kind or you like the video please do get in touch um, I will have to say this you could go for a size 14 hook and that would make it possibly better if you wanted to make an inexpensive tube that's smaller than that radius, which is about just over 10 centimetres width. So if you wanted to make a smaller one, you'd have to find a, a smaller tube. I've seen people use, um, I've seen people use, what they're called, um, water pipes, like you do for plumbing, like a stiff white pipe that they use for like water plumbing and some off cuts left over they've cut them in tiny little tiny tubes you can get them in different radius in fact I'm using this because someone's always got a plastic tube of any kind and this is uh, Strepsils uh, so I'm just using this because everyone's got access to a plastic tube of some kind and let's face it let's recycle guys yeah let's think about the ecology and they always say there's no second use to plastic there is for us fishermen eh? Eh? so I think it, I know it's deadly because we've caught many fish uh, one time we went fishing and we caught what I caught and my uh, fishing partner caught at least 12 carp each using this technique and that is a big ball that's about 
uh, about 15 centimeters across that ball after it's been fully swollen so it's a fair clump uh, so it does work but I think on a size 16 hook I'd go for two discs uh, and then on a size 14 and 12 you'd probably go to three and four so thanks for watching and I hope you uh, have a go at this and make your own bread punch big disc bread punch uh, but cheap I did that for free for four free so enjoy and uh, I look forward to your comments thanks for watching